back in that 74-75 season when we were sitting up there making the observations, one thing we noticed was that you did do some praising, you did do some compliments, mm -hmm. but not too often. Mm -hmm. And I've always wondered, was that a philosophy of yours to keep that limited, or was that something you really thought about? Well, uh, I tried, uh, maybe not very successfully, as I found out later, the, the, most of the compliments and the praise that sort would be given to those that aren't playing too much. But with the players that are playing too much, no, I'm, 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 <laughs> they're going to get that from everybody, from the, from the media, uh, from, well, all of them, they're, they're patting the guys in the, in the back, the ones that are playing, and the others need it. And I, I thought I tried to do that, but I found out uh, as the years have gone by that some felt that I didn't, didn't uh, uh, do that. And uh, that's interesting to me, to me because I felt that I did. But um, no, my feeling is that uh, I would say when things are going poorly, I, I tried never to be too strict with them. When things are going real well, I tried to be more strict. And the time you observed, things were going pretty well for us. Yes. <laughs> uh, so I, yes. I suspect that uh, that, yes. that might have been true in that particular occasion. So if you'd have, if you'd have uh, probably noticed it on individuals, you might have noticed, if, if I'm correct on this, and that uh, uh, and when I did give praise, most of it would be to those that aren't going to get it from the outside. And uh, the criticism would be a, a little more strong about those that are getting a lot of outside praise. And that, yes. that, was, yes. that was done with purpose. Yes.